And on this brake drum, it's not necessarily, it's not necessary to take everything apart if you don't have to. If I can unbolt this entire backing plate without taking off the shoes and everything, then that's going to work to my advantage because I don't need to do any extra work. So what I need to do is figure out what it's holding on, what the backing plate is held on by. I believe these bolts here, these four bolts, go inside with these bolts back here so that if I can get them freed up, I might be able to unbolt this, slide the whole thing off, including the brake line, because see, if I get the brake line loose from here, and don't have to take all this other stuff off, that will make this a lot quicker and easier. Get that off, put the new backing plates in place. And I'm gonna soak the back side of these bolts in it. They've probably never been off the car, so they're probably on there pretty well. So this backside piece here is 11 16 Let's see what we can find. Might need to put a big socket on that. A big uh, pipe, I mean. Which is certainly doable. Now I think about what I'm doing here. Really easy to be turning that the wrong way. That's the right way. Okay. So what I am going to do is uh, put it on the outside of the car there. socket right here. And I might wind up going with a pull bar. Just a ratchet to break them loose with. Looks like the thread is messed up on this one. Right there. Wait, somebody tried to put something on there that didn't fit. So, let me check and see if I've got a uh, 6.11/16 anywhere before I go any further. Yeah. And I could try is getting a uh, a uh, my air wrench back in here and working it into there. on there good. I'm gonna get me a pipe. Put some weight out here. Yes. Sometimes you have to do a little work to get the angle right when I'm trying to do something like this. You need enough leverage. You'll get your pipe on there and work it down. See, that's, that's turning the time. It wasn't too tight actually, unless I got something on it. That I could uh, work with. See if I can let you. Maybe. That's what I'm doing now. Now that that's moving, another option is to put a smaller drive socket on there that I can get a ratchet on and turn.
that one's nice and loose. That last one comes off that easy. I'll be, I'll be lucky, very lucky. Looks that last one's gonna be the hardest one to get to, too. I don't believe I can get a socket on it, so I'm gonna have to do that with a regular one. The way it's located down in here. on it. But it's going to be hard to figure out. What I might do is get me a rag, clean my hands, get a hammer and just try hitting that with a hammer a few times. That works sometimes too. Get another rag. Hey, we're making progress. Y'all still with me in there? I don't know if you can see me up in the dark here, but it's turning. In this case, I'm turning the whole bolt, so I've got to put it's five eighths out on this end. Put a little five eighths uh, wrench out in here to hold that way. In fact, I might get a, a five eighths socket and hook it to the air gun. Just give it the spin on the air gun. That might do the trick too. So this is my spindle without the brake backing plate and all of that. And this is what the new uh, the new disc brake things are going to mount to. Now I'm going to wash my hands and come back and uh, bring all my parts around here and sort out where we go from. 